The ragdoll cat can be described in three words, big, beautiful, and friendly. With silky medium length fur that's similar to a Persian or Angora, and a sizable body, and an affable personality of a small puppy. The ragdoll is a favorite breed among cat fanciers. Let's check out the ragdoll cat breeds. 101, everything you need to know. It's a relatively new breed. Ann Baker, a breeder who lived in California during the 1960s, is credited with creating the ragdoll. Baker took a domestic long-haired white female that was found running wild in her neighborhood and bred her with another long-haired cat. The resulting kittens were the progenitors of the ragdoll breed. By selecting for traits like a friendly personality and long plush fur, Baker eventually produced the big, soft kitty we know and love today. One of the cats in the original ragdoll bloodline may have had Siamese-like markings, or Baker mated that first cat with Burman, Burmese, or Persian cats. However, since nobody quite knows which cat breeds Baker used to create the ragdoll, the origin of the breed's classic color-pointed coat a term that's used to describe a body that's lighter than its points, including the face, leg, tail, and ears, remains a bit of a mystery. They all have beautiful blue eyes, but many shades and colors. This isn't a surprising fact. Ragdoll's eyes may come in different shapes and shades of blue. However, it is important to note that all purebreds have blue eyes. If your ragdoll has shades of green or yellow in her eyes, then she's probably a mix. Aside from its plush fur and large body, the ragdoll is known for its bright blue eyes and color-pointed coat. Ragdolls also come in a variety of shades, ranging from seal and blue to red and cream. Variations like tortoiseshell and tabby markings are also common. Ragdolls come in several patterns, including color point, no white on their coat, bicolor, and mitted, meaning they have white mittens on their paws. They are born pale, and their coats gradually darken into their permanent hues as they grow older. They're one of the largest domestic breeds of cat. When we see photos of ragdolls, their cuteness also makes you think they're dainty. However, ragdoll cats are actually one of the largest breeds of domestic cat. This isn't all just fluff either. Not only can they reach weights of 20 pounds, but when you add in their medium to long coat, these guys can be the size of a small dog. They have dog-like personalities. Some cats have personalities that are similar to a dog. Ragdolls take the best traits from dogs as loyal and playfulness. They are fiercely loyal to their families and love being near their humans. Ragdolls will even wait patiently outside a door for their owner to come and play. They love to play just like any other cat, but they also have been known to play a game of fetch. Mine like a scrunched up ball of paper. Each of my ragdolls played fetch for the first time, automatically, without any training. Ragdolls also tend to carry around their favorite toys and their teeth, trotting along like a satisfied puppy. Some are even known to excitedly greet their owners at the door, but don't expect them to bring the newspaper. Ragdoll kittens are born pure white. Their color and pattern develop sometime between one to two weeks of age. Then the breeder is able to tell what color pattern they will be. The breeder is also able to predict what the possibilities of color or pattern combos of a litter of kittens will be because of the color or pattern of the parents. Ragdolls are fully grown at four years of age. Ragdolls are what is known as a slow maturing cat. What this means is that they aren't considered fully grown adults until age four. During this time, they can continue to grow in size and you may not notice minor changes in the pattern. Some have been known to continue to grow even into their fifth year. Ragdolls have an average lifespan. Ragdolls are actually one of the longest living cat breeds. While there is a lot of debate on the average age for a ragdoll, it is generally agreed that they can live between 15 to 20 years. Keep in mind, this is for an indoor-only cat. Having an indoor and outdoor cat or an outdoor-only cat exposes them to many potential and life-threatening diseases and risks that can lower this average. They aren't all cuddly, floppy snugglers. Oh boy, this is one ragdoll cat fact I need to clear up. Many ragdolls are cuddlers and love to be held, but not all. Ragdolls have their own unique personalities. How a ragdoll is raised could influence whether or not they'll be floppy or snuggly, but not always. Don't adopt a ragdoll expecting an instant floppy cat. It's a feature of this breed, but not a quality they all have. Ragdolls thrive on human companionship, and, unlike other felines, they love being held. In fact, 
The breed supposedly got its name because friendly litters of the docile, friendly cat became limp and floppy like ragdolls when they were picked up. Ragdolls are not hypoallergenic. This myth comes from their lack of an undercoat. Excessive shedding of this undercoat is what causes many allergies. Other allergies are caused by cat saliva, which, of course, will still be a factor with a ragdoll. Ragdolls do shed. As just mentioned, ragdolls lack an undercoat, which means that they shed less, need less grooming, and don't get matted hair. However, they do still shed. Their coat is rabbit soft, but you can still expect it to shed regularly like any other cat. Ragdolls do feel pain. Because ragdolls are quiet, calm, and loving, it may be difficult for you to notice cues that help you to know they are in pain. Many cats howl, or simply start acting not themselves when they are sick. You may need to pay closer attention to your ragdoll since howling is not typical for this breed. This doesn't mean that they don't feel pain, just that they are better at hiding it and dealing with it than most cat breeds. Ragdolls are not deaf. This myth comes from an association with their blue eyes. Deafness is more common with cats and blue eyes. However, this is true mostly for pure white cats. Ragdolls come in a variety of colors and do not have the same mutation as the pure white cats. They are one of the largest cat breeds. According to the Cat Fanciers Association, male ragdolls typically weigh between 15 and 20 pounds, and females between 10 to 15 pounds. That makes them slightly larger than other female heavyweights like the Maine Coon, which can weigh up to 18 pounds, and the Norwegian Forest Cat, which can weigh up to 16 pounds. Ragdolls are quiet kitties. Ragdolls are affable and quiet kitties. Thanks to this trait, Realtor.com named them as one of the best cat breeds for apartment living. However, this trait also has a downside. Your ragdoll may not meow if it's distressed or in pain, so make sure to treat it with care. A ragdoll was the world's longest living Janus cat. A feline born with two faces is called a Janus cat, a name that's inspired by the Roman god Janus, who is often portrayed as having two faces. The world's most famous two-faced cat, Frank and Louie, also known as Frank and Louie, was a ragdoll. He had two functioning eyes, a blind central eye, two noses, and two mouths. Frank and Louie's deformity was caused by a very rare congenital condition known as diprosopia. He wasn't expected to live very long, but a woman named Marty Stevens rescued him from being put down. Frank and Louie lived for an astounding 15 years before he passed away in 2014. Thanks to his long lifespan, Frank and Louie is listed in the Guinness Book as the longest living Janus cat. Ragdolls are dog-like cats. Ever wanted a pet that will play fetch with you, follow you from room to room, and sleep with you in your bed? If you're allergic to dogs, or you're just partial to cats, consider a ragdoll. They can be more like dogs than cats sometimes, one cure or a user wrote. My cats greet me at the door, follow me from room to room, cuddle up next to me on the couch and in bed, wait outside while I take a shower, etc, etc. They love stuffed animals and little toys which they will carry from room to room. One of them will even plays fetch. If you're not looking for a more independent animal, the ragdoll is not for you. They demand and need a lot of attention and play. And number one, ragdoll cats are prone to a heart problem. Cats in the ragdoll breed are associated with increased risk for HCM, or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This puts them at risk for a sudden cardiac event. According to the University of California Davis Ventnor Genetics Laboratory, a ragdoll cat with two copies of a mutation associated with the disease are at high risk of developing severe signs of HCM, usually between one and two years of age. Cats with only one copy of this mutated gene are likely to have a normal lifespan. A DNA test can tell you whether your cat has this mutation. Do let us know in the comments, do you have a ragdoll cat or want to own one? Please subscribe to the Wigglepaw. What do you love about this breed? Thanks for watching.